Hey everyone, it's now Saturday. Uh, so here are the updates from Thursday and Friday at WBC. Uh, so last I checked in, I had just uh, substitute GM'd the Agricola Finals uh, and was thinking about playing Lost Ruins of Arnak before the Wingspan quarterfinals. So uh, I did play the Lost Ruins of Arnak heat at 1 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, it was on the snake side, which I haven't really been playing. I've been playing a little bird side, but not much. Um, and the heat went really long, be partially because we had a new player at the table, but uh, I think all three of my opponents were taking uh, some pretty long thinks during their turns. We basically went up to two hours when I had to be at the wingspan quarterfinal, and then um, I actually left before scoring. I knew I wasn't winning, or I, at least I'm pretty sure I didn't. I still don't know the results of that game. I assume I got third or fourth, uh, but that was a Lost Ruins of Arnak game uh, to fill some time. So then 3 p.m. was the Wingspan quarterfinal. Uh, I drew a, uh, it was a good draw uh, of table. My opponents were good, but not great. And I had some uh, really strong uh, opening cards. I had Tuck Lay and Tuck Draw for the Wetland early on uh, from my starting hand, and by the end of round two I had six point Wetland actions, um, and I took that quarter down fairly smoothly. Um, one of my opponents got fairly close, played a pretty good game. I do not remember the margin of victory anymore. I think it was less than 10, but I had uh, a clean 94 with uh, three bonus cards that only got me seven points and I had something like 10 or 11 birds played, so I'd expect it a little more on average. So a bit unlucky there. Good luck with my opening hand, which matters a lot more. And I won the quarterfinal for my fourth bird pin of the week. Uh, and then the wingspan semifinals were, and possibly finals were the next day. So then, what did I do? Yeah, I have this break on my schedule from five to eight and I did not do any scheduled gaming. I do not remember. So I'm going to assume I was open gaming. Yes, no, I definitely was open gaming uh, and got dinner. Yeah, that's what I did. Played some Cascadia practice for the playoffs the next day. Uh, maybe played Azul also, maybe also played some Ricochet Robots in open gaming. Um, then at 8 p.m. was the Terraforming Mars quarterfinal. Um, we had eight tables and 25 quarterfinalists. So, um, so, well, we had 25 quarterfinalists that didn't get a buy. And I think seven players did get a buy. And they had nine, uh, 25 people show up. So what they did was they made seven three-player games and one four-player game, advanced the winner of all games and the second place from the four-player game. Um, I not only drew a good table in terms of uh, opponent experience level, but I also drew the four-player table. Um, I played Tharsis instead of Credicor, which is, you know, a bit of a sketchy decision. We played Prelude Venus with no colonies because my opponents wanted all wanted colonies out. Um, and I played not great, but with, uh, with not the biggest Mars challenge I've ever had. I scored a 72 in like eight gens and I uh, got second place by two. So luck was definitely on my side for the Mars quarterfinal, but I did make the semifinal, which now means um, I've made the last four semi, uh, semifinals, or I've made the semifinals in the last four Mars tournaments I've played, and each of those has had over 100 players. So that's pretty cool. Uh, even though, you know, I didn't plan on playing it. So that game took about three hours, so it was 11 p.m., and I went home. All right, so that brings us to Friday yesterday, and we look at the possible schedule for Friday. I get a buy through the Cascadia quarterfinal at 9, so I don't have to show up until 11 for the Cascadia semifinal. If I win the Cascadia semifinal, I have the final for Cascadia at 11 p.m., um, at 1 p.m., so two hours after the Cascadia semi, I have the Wingspan semi. If I win the Wingspan semi, there's an immediate Wingspan final uh, at 3. And then at 
seven is the Mars semifinal, which probably takes like three to four hours, and then possibly the Cascadia final, as I was saying, at 11. So insane Friday. It would be the biggest WBC day of my, this is now my fourth year coming, I think. Is it really? Yeah. Two pre-pandemic, two post. Crazy. Um, so yeah, four years of WBC this Friday, yesterday, possibly my biggest day ever. So here we go. Uh, Cascadia quarterfinal at 11. Um, I get a bit unlucky, but it was also a skill issue. I was not better than uh, at least two of the opponents I had at the table. And I took fourth with only 89. The winner had like 97. Pretty low scores due to whatever animals were out there. And good players are probably a little more defensive. And the like habitat points are probably more equally distributed. Um, so not a great start to my day, but you know, I didn't have the highest hopes for Cascadia. After all, this was an event that I also didn't plan on playing at the beginning of the week. So, uh, after Cascadia semi, have like half hour break after the game ends and go to the wingspan semifinal. Um, I draw one of my close friends, one of the few people I'm actually, you know, legit scared of if we have somewhat equal hands in wingspan and this semifinal did not have equal hands. My friend drew such a good opening hand that he discarded the Pied Build Grebe on the opening, which is a bird you keep like 95 or more percent of the time when it's in your opening hand. Draw two, discard one in the wetlands, costs a worm or a fish. Um, it's the only draw two, discard one in the wetlands that costs a fish. So that gives you your worms or seeds to play your other cheap early birds. Um, me, I had a green heron as the only one cost bird in my opening hand, uh, and no great, uh, food birds. So I only kept the green heron, uh, which is not a particularly good bird. Uh, it's fine. It'll take up spot in your wetlands for a food and give you four points, but the ability is surprisingly hard to use, trade a food that you have for a food of your choice. Anyway, with such a big disparity in opening hands, uh, my friend crushed the game with 101. I was able, only able to score 81, and I got fourth place in this semifinal. So uh, a day started off with such great promise, uh, possibly three semis and two finals. And by 3 p.m., more like 2.30 p.m., I'm fourth place, fourth place, have no possible finals that day. Um, and that was really bleak. I had a really rough afternoon. I, yeah, it was just overall disappointed. Like, I feel like I let myself down. I mean, looking back, I, I did what I could. Um, I don't, like, Cascadia, I probably made some mistakes. But that's to be expected. Wingspan, I don't think I made any serious mistakes. All my options were pretty bad. Um, but yeah, I, I give myself really high standards. And when I don't meet them, it's, uh, it's a struggle. So I basically... How long was I just like sitting dejected, either with friends or by myself? probably like three or four hours. Um, I didn't have much to do on the schedule, but uh, I like had plenty of friends asking me if I wanted to open game stuff, including Agricola, and I just didn't want to do anything. Um, it was a tough afternoon. Got myself a drink uh, while my friends were getting dinner. So I sat down with them, got a drink, uh, bought myself some ice cream, and went to the Mars semifinal at uh, seven? At seven. All right, so we picked ourselves back up uh, from feeling terrible um, and back into good spirits for the Mars semifinal. Mars semifinal, um, I draw the three time champ, Eric Robel. I draw John, who's also a very experienced player who my friends are warning me about and a very experienced gamer, but probably the weakest Mars player at the table by his own admission, multiple times during the game. So, 
that's the toughest table at the semifinal by quite a bit. Uh, people overestimate me, probably. I'm not that, that good in Mars. I'm quite good, but not that, that good. So, uh, opening hands, I do get Credicor as an option. All three of my games, blessed to be able to play Credicor if I want to, though, of course, I turned it down in heat, or in the quarterfinal. And my draft packs in the opening are not great. Um, I end up going for keeping three cards in the opening and aiming to terraform really fast and rush the game. And this is the strategy that I'm super unfamiliar with. I do not rush. I am big time engine builder, but I know with Eric Robel at my table, I probably do not win playing engine unless my hand is obscene. And my hand is not obscene. It's far from obscene. Um, I keep IO mining industries, which is great, but I had to pass terraforming Ganymede because both were in my first pack of the draft. Uh, sorry if the insects are like buzzing really loud. That's just comes with the territory. Um, so yeah, IO mining industries. I got solar reflectors, which is fairly good for a rush. Uh, strategy, and I also do pick up the Mohole Prelude, which is one of my least favorite preludes uh, for engine stuff, because heat is junk most of the time, but with Mohole and Solar Reflectors, Mohole Prelude and Solar Reflectors, uh, I do get the nice round 8 heat production. Specialist is also in the game. Uh, I pick up a ninth production from a card, and I do get the first uh, heat bonus on the heat track, so I do manage to claim the Specialist Milestone. Um, Unfortunately, the milestones and awards overall were not great for a rushing strategy, so it was still an uphill battle. I do what I can. Um, I do get some good mid-game draws. We had a bunch of oceans early on, and I got like a third round, third generation algae played, which was really nice. I drew kelp farming in the mid-game, and uh, when all oceans were played, so I got like two or three rounds out of kelp farming. Um, probably three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was three. Um, I do get standard technology, second to last generation. And I milk that for like uh, 18 bucks or something like that by the end of the game. Uh, and I do force the end of the game. However, I only score like 69, I think. Nice, under 70. Um, my board play is nowhere near good enough. Um, and that's just something I need to work on overall. Uh, I usually have weaker boards than I should, but, you know, not super duper in practice these days. So, Eric Robel scores 79. John has a bad game. He draws fourth seat. There's only one good colony in the game, and it's Triton. He doesn't get onto it. Um, his opening draws were also not great, if I recall, and wasn't really able to dig himself out of the fourth seat hole. He ends at 62. Now, Ricky, the other player in the game, the least experienced player, uh, or maybe least skilled, he's probably got a couple hundreds of Mars games under his belt. Uh, he scores 81. He wins that table, that semifinal table. Eric Robles back to back to back is over. No four time repeat for him because Ricky wins the table with 81. Uh, silently uh, tying on a milestone or tying on an award, not being virused at the end of the game because the attack was thrown at me instead to cost me like two points. Uh, he doesn't have a milestone, but he has super efficient board with like four cities for 12 points and like six greeneries, respectable good stuff. Uh, he gets enough card points and uh, that's my Mars semifinal third place. So my big Friday, fourth, fourth, third. Uh, with a lot of sadness in, in between. <sighs> Definitely a day I'll learn from. Um, in retrospect, I came into the day uh, way too hyped with too high standards, with fun not being my goal. And uh, that is something I need to change next time I have one of these big days. Um, that is actually kind of true today. My overall convention result is on the line today. We have Space Base. 
uh, Space Base, the event I was so hyped for last year. I'm not feeling quite as excited for it this year, but I should. Um, I haven't been practicing much, but I am not that rusty. Like, I still remember all the strategies, I'm pretty sure. I'm still, like, plenty aware of what other people are doing. Not that it is that big of a difference. So, um, yeah, we hope for the best today in Space Base. Two heats, one of which already happened, but I'll include that in the next update. Um, I will have some time to do an update between leaving the convention tomorrow and my flight home. So, um, that's that. And I will make sure to, uh, have that update, uh, for all of Saturday and, uh, if I play anything at the con on Sunday morning tomorrow. So that's the Thursday and Friday WBC update. Um, my only laurels so far are three can't stop laurels, which is hilarious and awesome, but also three would be my lowest laurel count of any WBC year. And there is a bit of me that holds myself to these high standards when it comes to gaming and success. <sighs> uh, overall, I do feel like I'm plenty respected by uh, other players in Wingspan and Mars, etc., for being a very strong gamer. People don't want to draw my table. They recognize when I'm having bad luck. Um, and that's really much bigger for me than results in long term is um, being respected as a strong quality gamer who's fun to play with. Um, and I think I am achieving that side of things, even if I don't have amazing results here. Uh, so that'll be something I can be prouder of later on, <laughs> even if it's not really sinking in right now. Uh, so in an hour or so, got second heat of space base. Again, I'll update on the first heat, uh, next vlog. And, uh, thanks for watching. One more of these to go for WBC 2024. Bye.